This tutorial is going to focus on a single solution of a password management system. I'll start the videos with a brand new file so you know every single step I make. But let's take a tour of the completed solution so you know the ultimate goal. It'll help you to better understand what we're teaching you. If you can see what it's going to look like. Now what we have here is the password keeper. It's a solution I sell on my website. I'm going to create every single feature you see here from my retail version of the file inside this tutorial plus actually a few other techniques that are not actually in the file. So you can see here I've chosen a theme. If we go into layout mode, I chose this theme. I kind of liked it for the password keeper. It's called dark. And we'll give you this theme. It's available in FileMaker, I believe, 15 and earlier, but not later. And But we'll give it to you so you can import it if you like it. It's really up to you. You can choose any theme you want when you're building this. So we have two layouts, basically. We have our form layout, which you can see has the name, the account, the password, the website, some notes here. And you can see we can go to into list view to see all of the passwords we have in here. I can go to a different set of passwords if I want. I can also navigate between them, just like here. You'll see that we have the website. If you want, it loads right inside here. But of course, we'll also show you how to open it up right inside of a web browser. You have the old passwords here. So each time you generate a new password, it will put it in your old password so you can remember it. That happens when you hit this random button here. It'll randomly generate a password for you and record your old password in here. Not only that, you have your preferences here. You can choose which characters go into the random passwords, the length and the characters. You can type in anything you want here. You can also timestamp your notes. That's very important when you're trying to keep them nice and neat and clean. You'll see how it works if I hit timestamp. You notice I get the ability to type right in there. We'll also teach you how to create a find button. You're going to need to do that when you're doing a search, right? So you can come down here and find whatever you want. Hit the continue button and it locates that particular password for you so you can get it very quickly. You can of course create a new one, delete one, all that kind of stuff's in here. We also are going to cover every single script in here. We basically covered the interface for those features, but you'll see there are some scripts that are subscripts and things that don't happen via an interface. They happen in different ways. We'll cover every single one of these, how to organize them, how to create all this stuff in here. We'll teach you how to create everything in Manage Database. We'll start from scratch again so you see everything in here. It's going to all be created in front of your face. All the relationships, the tables, the fields, everything. We'll go in and we'll see the layouts here. If we go into layout mode, we'll see all these layouts. We'll create all these layouts here. There's a print one here, of course, we didn't cover before, so you can print out your passwords if you want. It's really up to you what you want to do. And we'll, in fact, again, show some features that are not included in this version, such as how to go ahead and make bullet points instead of the password. So if somebody's looking over your shoulder, they can't actually see your password. Of course, you'll be able to copy it. Or you can turn off and like make a preference item in here that allows you to go ahead and turn off the bullet so you can see them, you know, if you're not worried about people looking over your shoulder. We'll also show you how to do some encryption that's pretty easy to do and how it works. All that great stuff inside this video. Go ahead and watch this video, this tutorial in order. It'll really help you to understand the whole thing. Don't skip around or you'll get lost.